Welcome back to Happy Place Cooking. If you have not yet become a subscriber, please go on down and hit that button. It's totally free. And don't forget to ring that little bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload new content. Today I am going to make a lemon cream pie. This is a simple recipe with only a few ingredients. I'm going to start by baking up this pie crust. This is a pre-made frozen pie crust. It's been setting out for about 10 minutes to get room temperature. My oven is preheated at 400. I'm going to poke some holes in this with a fork and then I'm going to just let this bake for mm, probably five to maybe 10 minutes because I, I don't want to over bake it because uh, when I get done with my filling and I put it in there in the crust, it has to go back in the oven and I don't want burnt crust. Got my pie crust down. I decided to go ahead and wait. That way I didn't have to stop right in the middle of doing my recipe to get that out of the oven. I only let it stay in for about seven minutes. I've reduced the heat on my oven to 375 and now I'm going to whip up these ingredients for the filling. I'm going to start with two eggs. I need two cans of sweetened condensed milk. And one cup of lemon juice. I'm using just regular container lemon juice. I'm not using fresh squeezed. And I'm going to mix this all up until it's nice and smooth. Okay. Check that. It looks pretty smooth. Yeah. Seems pretty smooth. Ooh, that's going to be nice and full. Probably could have done two pies with this and not filled them quite so full. That's okay. We don't mind a little bit of a thick pie. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven at 375 for 25 to 30 minutes. I want it to be just set. It can be a little jiggly when I take it out, but I don't want it to be runny. Okay, it's all done baking. I'm going to this is still really hot. I just took it out, but you can kind of see it has a jiggle, but it's not runny. Now I need to get this in the refrigerator and it needs to cool for at least probably three hours in the fridge so that it can finish setting up. You could do this for overnight and then it would probably be set up even better, but I'm gonna hopefully have it ready to go for dessert this evening after our dinner. I did want to mention that I had stated that I used this uh, pre-made frozen pie crust. You can also use graham crust. I'm gonna get this in the refrigerator. Once it's all set up I will uh, get it back out and add the topping to it. This is setting up absolutely wonderful. As you can see there's like no jiggle left. It's actually only been in the refrigerator for a couple of hours but it's set up plenty good enough that I'm going to go ahead and put the whipped cream topping on. Hopefully that's not too much. Okay now we'll wait for Jesse to get home and we'll have dinner and then we'll cut this up and give it a taste test. Well that looks like a success. Nice and set up. Not runny at all. Just going to give it a bit of a taste. 
Mm, that is really good. I would definitely make this one again. Thanks for watching. Happy eating!